If YouTube playlists are not your thing, you can find this course and more at poll.unfgames.com. It's easier to follow along and know where you left off. Now, let's start the video. Let's start talking about blueprints. And this will also be a brief introduction to blueprints because we want to start programming in blueprints as fast as we can. But in order to do that, we need to have a solid foundation. So in this presentation, we will talk about scripting, we will talk about building gameplay functionality, and a little introduction to blueprints. This is the funda foundation quote, so yeah, it's really important. You already know me if you watched the first video. So let's talk about the scripting. You will see that video games, or well, most of any real-time application is not only about the art. There will be art elements, but if you j just use them, you will probably end up with uh, something like a muse museum that no nothing will move and there will not be any interaction. So it will be the mixing of the art elements and the code and the scripts that will allow us to create gameplay mechanics and, well, create interaction. So how would we build that gameplay functionality? Well, in Unreal, you do that by using C++ code or Blueprint script. And learning Blueprints will be a first step to learn how to use C++ with Unreal because most of the functionality that you can uh, use through blueprints, it can also be used in C++. So you will remember most of the functions and most of the workflows. But what are blueprints? Well, they're, like it says, is a visually scripted additions to our game. And that additions are through nodes that you can add in in graphs, and they are used for various purposes to implement behavior and functionality. This is how a blueprint editor will look like, and this is the blueprint visual scripting system. It's called a visual scripting system because we are drag and dropping nodes, and through these nodes, they each contain behavior that we can mix and match as we like. So, it uses a node-based interface to create gameplay elements, and it is used to define object-oriented classes or objects in the game. This is a programming term that it just means that we are trying to represent stuff through objects, for example, if I wanted to create a car in my game, I'm not like defining it in a global class or in a in an unrelated script where I will have the I don't know acceleration or if it can turn to a right or to the left. The way we program stuff is by associating functionality and behavior. So if we want a car, we need an object that represents a car. And that's why it's called object-oriented. Otherwise, all this code would not be in one class. And whenever we say class, we will probably uh, be referring to blueprints and it will be an interchangeable term, like classes and blueprints. If we have a blueprint that represents a door, then inside it, I would want to store if the door is open, how fast can it be opened, and also the functionality to open it or close it if we need it, right? That, that is why it's called object-oriented. All the design is being thought as objects and how can we develop it 
modularly so it can be reused later. So that's a good first step. Let's get to know more about blueprints by actually playing around with them.